Let's talk about perfect matching in a graph. Okay. So what is perfect matching? I will tell you. Consider this graph A B B C C D. Okay. So consider this matching, which is nothing but A B C D. So whenever you know a vertex gets an edge in matching, then you mark it in your graph. So that we say that it is matched vertex. Okay. Now here B got an edge, right? Then mark B. They are all called matched vertices. Okay. There are two concepts. One is matched vertex. Second one, unmatched vertex. So it is easy to observe that with respect to this matching. Every vertex is matched, right? So see the matching and tell me. Every vertex got one edge in matching. Then we say that this is a perfect matching. Okay. So this matching is called perfect matching. What is the idea about perfect matching? Is in a matching because of this matching, every vertex is matched vertex. Then that matching is called perfect matching. There are some matchings may not be perfect. Example, consider this one. Just A B. Okay, this matching in that only B and A got an edge, right? But not C D. Then because of that, so only A is matched, only B is matched, but not C D. Such matching is called non-perfect matching. Otherwise, it's not a perfect matching. Okay, so perfect matching is a matching where every vertex is matched. I say a vertex is matched if that vertex gets an edge in the matching. Okay, now we'll see one more example. What about this one? B C. That's it. So this is also not a perfect matching. It's very easy because A comma D doesn't get any edge in matching. Then that means so that is not a perfect matching. Sometimes yes, but if this graph has at least one perfect matching, correct? This one A B C D. There are some graphs. Whatever the way you try, you don't get perfect matching. Example, see this graph. A to B. Let's say B to C and B to D. Consider this graph. Let's add A to C to. I mean, don't add it. Like A B C D. For this graph, whatever you try. Example A B. That's it. Can you add any edge in matching? No. So this is a matching which is not perfect. Uh, maybe you can try a different matching B C, but that is not perfect. So whatever the way you try, you don't get perfect matching because to Uh, do perfect matching. Every ma vertex should be matched. For that, we have to consider every vertex into matching. Can we have any matching with all the vertices? If I take A to B, then you can't take anything else. If I take B C, I can't take anything else. That's why there is no perfect matching for this graph, whatever the way you try. Then, so that's the thing. That means sometimes you may not get perfect matching. Okay, sometimes some graphs will have perfect matching. Okay, this is the concept of perfect matching. I'll give you one more graph. Tell me whether this graph has perfect matching or not. Example, this one. Okay. So, is this graph has perfect matching? Yes, absolutely. That perfect matching is A B C D E F. Okay. This is a concept of perfect matching. Now, if a graph has odd number of vertices, like let me add one vertex here. One, two, three, four, five. Then add any number of edges. Whatever the edges you have for this graph. It is impossible to have perfect matching. The reason there are five vertices, right? Each, let's say, we have perfect matching. Then how it looks like? Like A should match to B, maybe C should match to D. Obviously, one vertex cannot match, you know, multiple vertices. Each vertex can match only one vertex in matching. Correct? Then A matches B, C matches D. Then A is a matched vertex. B is a matched vertex. C is a matched vertex. D is a matched vertex. Let's say, let me make it E. Okay. Then A, B, C, D. What about E? E definitely can't get, you know, a matched vertex. Correct. So to get a E some vertex to be matched, then probably we have to add like this. Then B will get degree two. That is impossible in matching. Correct. So that's why this graph. Whenever a word graph has odd number of vertices. That graph cannot have perfect matching. Okay, this is one thing you remember. Now, second thing, if a graph has even number of vertices, it doesn't mean that always it has perfect matching. Example, a graph has even number of vertices, but maybe that graph has in insufficient edges like this. 
that means number of edges are not sufficient otherwise they are not properly structured so that now see everyone want to be matched with c then c can match only one vertex what about b and d then b and d will become unmatched in that way so this graph cannot have perfect matching though it has even number of vertices okay